like to diversify my videos a bit, I will occasionally post news from the world of gasifiers. I will also comment on this news and share my thoughts. This information is not exactly recent, but I'll tell you about it anyway. In 2020, a U.S. Department of Energy division called the Office of Fossil Energy allocated $81 million to all willing gasifier developers to make flexible gasifiers able to run on coal and wood. As far as I understand, the Department of Energy is focused on the environmental-friendly conversion of U.S. plentiful coal reserves. It was decided to choose the so-called coal-first strategy. I'll put a link to this strategy concept in the description below the video. In general, this strategy is aimed at making flexible, modern coal-fired gasifiers able to also burn wood, and, apparently, all kinds of wood and agricultural waste. It is explicitly stated that the Department of Energy has chosen the strategy to rely on such gasifiers as the future energy basis. What can I say? Well done. There is some kind of strategy. For myself, I will say that in 10 years of working in Ukraine, I tried to talk about this at the government level. I explained that we can use lignite and low-quality coal deposits and even agricultural waste, straw and other things. It is even possible to gasify biosludge from urban sediment basins. All this is possible, and there are already designed gasifiers, which I showed in my videos. As we can see, the US is strategically focusing on gasifiers to generate electricity as the future of its energy sector. Although the US has a lot of its own oil, it is recognized it will soon be depleted, and it will be necessary to generate electricity from some other hydrocarbons, moreover, in an environment-friendly way. Let's move on to the next piece of news. On August 4, 2022, the UK government allocated £32 million to 12 projects aimed at producing environmentally clean biomass. And another 5 million has been allocated for 22 projects to support new technologies producing hydrogen from biomass and waste. Let me remind you that gasifiers are now regarded as a way of producing green hydrogen. According to recent works, gasifiers are capable of producing gas that contains up to 80% hydrogen after simple fuel processing and running the process at 800 degrees. I have seen a lot of modern scientific works on gasification to produce hydrogen. This problem has been solved long ago. As we can see, the UK has taken a direction towards growing biomass and using it to produce hydrogen using gasifiers. You can see these 22 projects on the screen, among which 5 million pounds will be distributed. Six projects are related to gasifiers. You can read about them. Let's move on to news from Ukraine. After the war has begun, the country's energy capabilities were assessed. They are all deplorable and are in front of you on the screen. There were some talks about gasifiers in sporadic articles. But, of course, no one would build anything big and permanent in the face of missile strikes on the energy system. And even if there were no war, you and I know that nothing would be done. The day-to-day -day destruction of Ukraine's energy system has resulted in rolling blackouts, and people just stay without electricity. A gasifier enthusiast is producing small gasifiers in Kyiv capable of fueling 3 and 5 kilowatt gasoline generators. The gasifiers are fueled with a mix of branches and plastic trash, for example, 50 50ths, i.e. make electricity from wood. And there is no more need for expensive gasoline. As you can guess, I am talking about myself. That's all for now. Write in the comments if you liked this video and if I should continue to mix my videos with such short news summaries on the channel. See you soon.